Welcome everybody, Forrest Nace here with American Steam Railroad bringing to you our August 2025 update. And everybody don't forget about our exciting upcoming October 11th open house where we'll have two giant steam locomotives here, the number 2100 and the number 4070 on display. We will also have a live steam tractor, whistle blows throughout the afternoon and a large O-scale model railroad here. That and more, we hope you join us. It's just $15 to come to bring all of your family and friends. And we look forward to seeing you here on October 11th, Saturday from 10 to five and a night photo shoot from seven to 10. We found a few of the bolts that were leaking under steam during the steam test back in April. After removing the cab and identifying the bolts that were leaking, we opted to go through and replace all the rigid bolts that are below the cab just to head off any future work and the potential to have to remove the cab later on because these bolts are largely inaccessible when the locomotive is assembled. The process to replace these stay bolts that we followed, bolts were cut out, what was removed was a one inch stay bolt. We retapped the sheet to inch and a sixteenth, which is pretty much a standard procedure to up the bolt size a sixteenth of an inch every time you replace it. With running the tap through the back head and the door sheet, that renewed the threads and gave us a really good thread fit in both sheets to accept the new stay bolt. We threaded the stay bolts in, cut them off, removed the threads, and then put a seal weld on it. After the bolts were seal welded, they are then driven. And there's two ways of going about that. You can weld the bolt after you drive it or before you drive it. Both are allowed by NBIC practice for the installation of threaded stay bolts. The other major project we've been working on here is during our steam up, we did have a few of our washout plugs leaking. So we do need to seal those completely up. And one thing we have been doing here is lapping the surface of the sleeve here. And we have had new tools made to be able to do that very efficiently instead of having it being done by hand. The other item is on each of the caps, the seating surface here. We have sent them out to our good friends at New Swanger Machine for those to be machined as well. So that way we have perfect surfaces for that copper gasket to seat on and seal. Now, one of the other projects we had to do to replace the 74 stay bolts is we had to remove the fire brick in the area here. That fire brick actually came up above where these stay bolts were. So to be able to access and remove all of them, we actually had to take the brick down to here, six rows in total, and then clean up the surface so that way the Newber factory cement can be put down as the six rows of bricks are built back up here next month. Well, everybody, that's the great progress we've been able to make here in August due to your generosity. We want to thank our members, our volunteers, our generous donors, our contractors, and our good friends here at the Midwest Railway Preservation Society. We hope to see you here again for our open house on October 11th. Thank you.